Welcome, namaste. Join your hands together at your heart and rub them to set any intentions that you would like for your practice today. As you bring your hands close to you, take a moment to feel your center and stretch up through your spine and release the arms down. Roll the shoulders, take a deep breath, and expand your energies as you reach out ready for this quick and short deep practice today. Bring the hands together into open lotus mudra for an open heart. Close your eyes, centering and taking a few breaths. Namaste, yogis. Take a bow, and when you're ready, come up to your hands and knees and push back into child's pose for our back opening practice today. Just start by going inward to this beautiful place that belongs to you and no one else in child's pose. Feeling the back body breathe and the heart soften. Then come into a low cobra. Slide the shoulders away from your ears. Press down on the pubic bone and the top of the big toes and the feet. And then if you feel comfortable, Strengthen the back, warming up the back body in a long flight locust pose, either taking the arms in front of you or behind you and clasping them to lift yourself high using your core muscles. Then place the hands down and look over at each one of your feet and come and meet me in downward facing dog. Softening around the joints lifting the sit bones up very high, lengthening the back of the neck and elongating the spine. Inhale the heels up, and as you exhale, bring the knees down into Mad Cat. On your next inhale, arch the spine, look up. And as you exhale, round back again into Mad Cat and meet me in Downward Facing Dog. We'll continue this. Heels up, inhale. Knees down, exhale, round the spine. Inhale, arch the back. Exhale, round the back. And inhale and exhale back to downward facing dog. We'll continue this on your next in breath. Heels lift. Exhale, knees down and round. Inhale, arch and look up. Exhale, round into your bow, your heart. Inhale and exhale. Pressing to downward dog. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, knees down. Inhale, arch. And then return into a child's pose, bringing the forearms down and bringing your hands into prayer, fingertips up to open the channels at the back of the body. Remembering your intention setting any goals into this moment to go inward and feel that you are capable of everything and anything and exactly where you need to be now. When you're ready, come back onto the ground in a cobra. If you feel like coming up higher, go ahead and do so. And inhale again, looking over each shoulder back towards your feet. This stretches the lower colon and opens the digestive organs, strengthening the lower back again. You can stay here with your arms reaching out or taking them back behind you in Shalabhasana or Locust Pose. The more we can strengthen the back, the greater capacity we have for balance of the whole body and whole mind. Inhale deeply. And as you exhale, Release, pushing back into a high plank, firming the belly to strengthen in. Take each knee in one at a time so we warm up our arms and our shoulders and also give the lower back a moment to unwind from the arching. So if you want to bring the knees in and round the chin and nose to the knee, That's also helpful 
and strengthening the abdominals and the lower back. When you're ready, release into child's pose. Bring the arms behind you and let the shoulders fall. Head falls, making contact with the earth. When you're ready, inhale. Sit up nice and tall. And we'll transfer to strengthen the back body into an upward table. Place the hands and the wrist under the shoulders, ankles under the knees, lift the hips, elongate the torso, and open the heart, shoulders, and throat. If you can drop the head back, also check in to make sure that your neck and jaw are relaxed. Now come down onto the back and set yourself up for bridge. We're going to strengthen the back body by taking the left leg straight up and we'll do a one-legged bridge, pressing through the triceps, the back of the head, standing strong on the right foot and using your inner thighs to take the energy up into the pelvis. Using your breath, press up and down, rolling through the spine three times. Inhale up and exhale down. Changing legs, using the connection and the balance between the upper and the lower body. Three times, lower down, exhale and inhale. Just noticing where your breath can help you and strengthen from within. Check back in with the jaw, teeth, and tongue, and make sure that they're nice and relaxed in the upper body. When you finish, give your knees a squeeze, a nice hug, shoulders away from the ears, and then come into happy baby. You can hold the outer edges of the feet or the ankles. Let gravity sink you down deep in the chest and the shoulders, and rock side to side in happy baby. If it feels good, stretch one leg out as you cross it over your midline. That helps to open the outer leg, the tibial band, the outer side of the knee and hip. You can do this a few times or simply stay in happy baby in the center. If you feel like taking it a little bit further than happy baby, you can release the feet and bring the soles of the feet together in butterfly pose like Baddha Kadasana, holding around the outside edges of the feet and letting the knees open to each side. This is good to open the back of the sacrum and the lower back. When you're ready, sit up nice and tall, staying in this butterfly pose, but make it long and slide your hands underneath your feet and ankles, folding in, dropping the shoulders, dropping the neck and opening the back body. Breathe here into your back. And with each exhalation, soften the heart in the front of the body down into the earth's gravity. When you're ready, inhale to rise up, lengthening the spine. Notice how you feel. And fold your legs in a cross-legged position and take your body forward, over, to stretch through one side of the hip a little deeper. Whatever leg is in front, take the opposite arm behind you 
and we'll take a half twist. Looking back through the whole spine, you'll feel that spiraling energy from the tailbone through the crown of the head. Soften the tongue and release. Come up into boat pose and prepare to center yourself through your abdominals. Enjoying the work. And when you're ready to come down, take your other leg in front now in the seated twist for the opposite hip. Stretch forward. You'll notice this side might feel a little different. We want to feel balanced. So now you'll bring the opposite arm behind you as you sit up nice and tall for the seated twist. Take that stretch. Draw the shoulders away from your ears and spiral from your tailbone to the crown of your head as you breathe deeply, softly, and with great awareness, opening through the back, strengthening the body's inner temple with each new moment. As you release, we'll do one more boat pose. Feel free to hold under your knees. You can even put your feet down if you're feeling tired. Play with what feels good to you. Keep the shoulders soft and activate your core muscles. Eyes can look beyond the toes, whether they're in front of you or high up. Honoring your body and honoring this day. And let's release. Come down back onto your back. Take the arms over your head. Shift your hips to the right and drop both knees to the left. And then bring the left ankle on the outside of your right knee, giving you a hip twist through your torso. If you like a little extra help, take your left hand to your inner left knee and just add some weight to what gravity is already giving you in this position. Separate the rib cage away from the pelvis as you take another deep breath. And then move the legs over to the right, centering your hips back again and moving to the other side. So now moving your hips a little to the left, drop your knees to the right, right ankle on top of the outer left knee. Both arms can reach overhead or if you like, right arm assists the stretch. Just enjoy that deep breath opening and relaxing. Beautiful. Come back to the other side for a moment and then return to the center. Roll over onto your side to complete our practice and come up and sit for a final meditation. Notice how you feel, back body feeling balanced, giving thanks as you bring your hands either to your third eye or to your legs. And bring your hands into Gyan Mudra, index finger to thumb. Relax the jaw, the face and the eyes and finish with a gentle meditation here. Just simply watching the breath as it breathes you. Going inward to honor the inner you. When you're ready to open your eyes, join your hands together at your heart. Namaste.